Hey, this is Barrett from Porta Keeper, and I wanted to do a quick overview of some of the stuff that I sell. So, when I started Porta Keeper, I made these wall racks. This is something that I thought was really cool. I was really annoyed having porta filters in my drawer. I've amassed quite a few over the years. We have quite a few different styles. We have them for the 54 millimeter Breville, 53 millimeter Lisbazel. Um, the list goes on and on. Go to my website, www.portakeeper.com, and I have an extensive list of different styles that fit these. So then from there, we went to the Tamper Keeper, and it does just that. It holds your tamper. So this one's a little custom one. I put a Rocket logo on the back. I can't sell them just from a right standpoint, but it stores stuff really nicely. That was an earlier one that I was just having fun with as well that I enjoy. So my latest creation is the distribution tool keeper. It holds distribution tools, not this inner part, but this outer part up to 2.6 inches in diameter. So I have a couple that I know fit the push fits. This is the Amazon one. It's like 30 bucks. Um, <laughs> let me know if, if you know yours fits cause I've sold to a couple of you. Uh, I really haven't had a chance to try that many out. I know the St. Anthony's, is about 2.7 inches. So that one will not fit, but I didn't want to just make it huge. I'm gonna make a different one for the St. Anthony's. It has a little bit of give, but all these things are just very different in size. So if you ordered your Porta Keeper, you're gonna get it and some nice packaging. I've been including some stickers in the back. And if you order the Tamper Keeper, they're a little bit more awkward. Uh, I wrap them up in some nice paper for you guys. So the latest and greatest is the turn dial. And I'm going to try to pull this up. As you turn the dial, the number shows through the hole and the point points towards the setting. So it actually helps you quite a bit. There's actually a black line in the front. It's very hard to see. Let's see if I can get it on camera. It has this black line, but you kind of have to like line it up. And that was the first thing that I really noticed that kind of annoyed me. Now on grinders like this, I usually don't use much of the setting. But on grinders like this, where you're actually spinning that whole lid to take it off and clean it, that got really annoying quickly. Where with like the Atom 75 that I'm really used to, if you remove this top, the burrs stay at the same setting that you left it in. So not really hard to readjust. I have a handful of colors. I actually offer more. This is orange. It's not listed. White, black, red, silver, and blue. I think I offer a brown as well. I've sold no brown. Um, I think eventually Espresso Alice is gonna sell this in brown too, so maybe at that point I'll sell some browns. The red has been pretty hot. The white I think looks fantastic. The black was the first one that I put on and this is very understated. It looks really good. It's very user friendly, but you don't notice it. So very subtle. The silver has also been very popular. I had a guy request orange. I said I'm not selling it, but you can send me an email and I'll try to get a color. I don't have all colors, but I can try to get you a color. And then the blue. Not been a popular one. I'm not surprised, but and I actually have a green. I don't have the green in here. I think, I think they're all packaged. So sorry about not having the green here. It's really lime green. You can check out my website. But let me know if you have any questions. I answer questions for people all the time. There it is. Clips in. This is my number one seller. Sell a ton of these a week. I have seven different variants for different models and machines. But like this Type 1, for example, will work with like 20 plus different brands of machines. So your machine is probably on my list unless it's like something that I just haven't even heard of. That's usually what comes up. A lot of these machines, they're like, hey, have you ever made this? I've never even really heard of the brand and I've heard of a lot of brands reviewing espresso gear and being really into all the espresso stuff. So let me know if you have any questions. I guess the last thing that I get asked a lot is how do they mount? And I include command strips. I include two per Porta Keeper and two per Tamper Keeper. So you peel these off, you stick them to the wall. I, I recommend cutting these tabs off on the bottom. If you need to take them off, I have a video online that shows you how to take these off really easy. 
but each one of these can hold eight pounds. I always recommend using two, it holds 16 because for whatever reason, if you're really just slamming this down, I don't want it to fall off your wall. I know a lot of you guys have really nice countertops. I don't want it falling on your espresso gear, but I know a ton of people that just use one and I've never heard anyone say that didn't stick except for one guy that had some anti-mess wallpaper and it just would not stick to the wallpaper at all. So maybe if it has like really rough brick, it might not stick. You can look up command strips. If that doesn't work for you, you can actually just get the 3M foam. I don't sell that. Um, but that stuff's impossible to take off where these are really easy to take off. So that's why I like to include them very strong. So again, leave me some comments below. Make sure to subscribe. I do review videos on all sorts of fun equipment. I got a Nish Zero. I got a tricked out K30 that I'm playing with a little bit. It's my personal one. I got it pretty beat up. I got this Atom 60 that I just did an unboxing on. Uh, my my favorite grinder of all time is the Atom 75. Tried much nicer, more expensive grinders, and that thing just keeps performing. So, lots of cool stuff. So, check back, and let's have some fun.